Hi everyone, we are going to have a look and see what's coming through and how your person is feeling about you today. So let's take a look, see what's going on, what messages I can give to you. Ta-da! Okay, um, I don't even know what cards I want to use. Let's uh, start with this particular deck. Now, I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services with me, they're always listed down below, linked down below and on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com. Personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, all of it is there. Also, there is the... Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. Uh, there's the intention items on there as well. Oh my god, we've been making those for like three years now, <laughs> but in one video I just like happened to forget, you know? Um, so yeah, intention items are on there. They're meditated with and saged. There's items for various areas of your life. People have seen results with these items um, and the review sections at the bottom of my website. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, candles, etc. <laughs> okay, so it's all there. Let's see. What is your person thinking about in regards to you? Okay. I already know your affirmation. Okay, I know your affirmation. So then there's that whole aspect to it. Um, also, the fan is overheating on my device, which does not help. Um, I don't know, it has a mind of its own today. So, your affirmation here is really interesting. Your affirmation is, I am a true gem. Okay, so when this, if this reading resonates with you, if you claim it, comment it down below um, because that is your affirmation, okay? I am a true gem. So what I'm seeing here is that they see you as valuable. They see you as unbreakable. They see you as confident. They see you as powerful. They see you as something that just does not have a price. You know, you just cannot buy, um, you know, you can't buy someone like you. Like it takes sometimes people lifetimes to find somebody like you. And that's what they're thinking is, wait a second, I have a blessing in front of me. I better not ruin it. You know, I better not ruin this entire situation. I better do something about this because I don't want to, you know, like ruin things here. I, I better take care of it. Um, and that's exactly what's happening in so many ways is that they're thinking to themselves, you are so special, you are kind, you're caring, you're considerate, you know, you really work hard for the things that you want. You're always a go-getter in life. You have a great mentality. You have a great um, demeanor, you are extremely, you know, they see you as someone who's successful. Now, whether or not you see yourself that way, remember this is how they see you. And <laughs> how a person sees you can be very different to how you see yourself sometimes. But they really do believe that you have this ability to make achievements, you know, that you have this ability to um, have success, to be um, very um, respected. And, and that's something that they're wanting in their own personal life. And they really do take a lot of inspiration from you as well. And they see you as someone who's always getting through challenges, obstacles, like absolutely trying your best. They also see you as someone who's always constantly learning and growing. And so basically, as a whole, you inspire this person to be better. And that's what they're really realizing today is, wait a second, you inspire me to be a better person. You inspire me to grow, to learn, to heal. Um, and you also inspire them because you're not just someone who's constantly serious you do like to have fun you do like to do you know all of these fun things and they so they don't see you as someone who's so serious that is suffocating they don't see you as someone who's so serious to the point where you are too much for them you know they don't see you in that particular way they see you as someone who is fun you know that you can actually have a good time you can laugh you can you know do all of these amazing things but at the same time do all of these other aspects of things as well and really be an incredible person so they respect you as a whole and i think that's really quite um, an important aspect and they really just see you as someone overall who's got a lot going for you you know three of pentacles king of cups Whoa, I see two aces. Okay, so we have, again, a career card. They feel that you are someone who is a go-getter in life. You know, you're not going to sit around and wait for people to say things, do things. You will always just try and do things in your own way. 
okay? That doesn't mean you won't listen to anyone because you're a very good listener, let me just say. Um, But you are someone who will always try to do your absolute best. You're not someone who's going to sit in a corner crying um, because, you know... um, well, if you can, sometimes you can, you know, sometimes you can sit in a corner crying and feeling, you know, frustrated, frustrated with certain things. Um, but I just feel, um, in so many ways that there is a very, very powerful energy of you not making yourself um, a victim. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes people will make themselves a victim constantly in life. Um, and they will just want to constantly, you know, feel like, oh, this is against me and that's against me and this is against me. Whereas I think that, yes, sometimes you can feel frustrated, upset, annoyed, you know, with life and things that happen, but you're not the kind of person who will stay in that energy for a long term. You will always find yourself um, a way to get up. You will always find a way to put one foot in front of the other, no matter how much it can be very frustrating in that moment. And so they see you as someone who is strong, you know, really strong, very capable, emotionally also very strong that you wear your heart on your sleeve. These are all things that they're now starting to realize are very, very valuable in a person. Now, I wonder why they've just started to realize that, right? And I'm sure you're wondering as well. Well, I feel here that something has happened in their family, and this has actually made them realize just how how much you do, how much you, you know, go above and beyond. We've got here some very powerful kings and queens, right? You've got the king of wands, and they have basically started to realize that, you know, in life, you need someone who is like this, you know, that can make life much better than someone who is constantly whinging, moaning, um, just, you know, not, not really, um, trying. They see you as someone who's always trying. You're always trying, trying, trying. They really like that about you. They appreciate that about you. Yep. Yep. They do. So we've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands as well. You know, they they find that you are not only physically super attractive, but you're also emotionally very uh, attractive and intelligent as well. You know, the water and the fire is a beautiful mix, okay? So you've got two kings. One is water, one is fire. You've got two aces. One is water, one is fire. Water and fire essentially they cancel each other out. Um, If you have a fire and you put water in it, but technically, you know, with science and stuff, water doesn't always put out a fire because, you know, water is different. But like, you know, let's say you had a tiny little fire and you put loads of water on it. You know, it it kind of um, counteracts. Um, What I mean by counteracts is it takes it away, right? So water and fire are really, really powerful because they actually balance and harmonize really, really well with another, with one another. And basically it's harmony, right? Because when you have a lot of fire and fire is too excessive, you do need some water to calm it down. What I also believe here as well is really significant is they find that you're a very balanced person. You like to go out and do things, you know, you're motivated, you have an amazing personality, but at the same time, you can be realistic, down to earth, understanding, grounded, work really hard, get things done. That's something that they're so inspired by when it comes to you. We've also got the seven of pentacles as well we've also got here the queen of swords and the ten of cups and the six of cups and the six of wands wow okay so they have a lot of nostalgia towards you know moments that the two of you have you know shared glances and looks at one another that really does go through their mind you know they're starting to see you as a true gemstone they're starting to see you as a blessing that is because you are a true gem okay you are and also with the the ten of cups they see with life partner material and life partner quality also, six of wands, you know, they see with someone they could actually be with long term and make things happen with, okay? And look at this, I've been confiding about this connection, which means that they have been talking to somebody, okay, potentially in their family, because there's a very strong family energy that keeps coming through in this reading. They've told somebody in their family that they do like you, and this person, I think, is starting to make them realize that, wait a second, like, this really is, you know, an amazing person for you. You should go after this person, because the way you describe them to me, they've got all of these amazing characteristics and qualities and if you want to settle down in life and you want to have you know um a life where you have a life partner you know someone who you can get through you know obstacles and challenges with but also enjoy the amazing moments that life has to offer then you need a person like this and so they've been confiding to somebody and this person is telling them you should definitely go for this because this sounds like someone that you know it would be very hard to find and so they're also realizing through that person as well what you mean and even with the queen of swords you know you've got two queens Oh, look at this. Two kings, two queens, every single one is a different suit, right? Because you've got fire, earth, water, and air. It seems to me like whichever direction they go in, they keep coming to the same conclusion that you are special and that they want to be with you, which again is very fascinating. 
I'm scared to let down my guard. Yeah, they are, okay? They're scared to let down their guard, but I think they're realizing that actually it's more scary to lose you. So look, look what we have here soon. They're gonna come to you, okay? Soon they are going to come, but I think what's really interesting is you've got, you got two kings, two queens, and the most interesting thing here is that you've got all four of those um, elements. And you know, so when I say like, oh, this is for all star signs, I really do mean it. I really, really do mean it because you've got all the signs present here um, through a king or a queen, and that's quite empowering. So um, yeah, this is your reading. You are a true gem. This is what your person is thinking about you today, and uh, this is what we have. So this is your reading. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items. Um, I also have TikTok and Instagram. Everything is listed down below for your convenience. So definitely do check that out if you're interested, and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.